Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up, podcast family? Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 259. I'm Phil Graham. I have got a great show for you guys today. I'm going to be sharing seven common Facebook ad mistakes that many people make, really most people make these mistakes, and they definitely can cost you money. It's like flushing money down the toilet when you're running ads. Now, here's the crazy thing. Even just making one of these mistakes can cost you money, yet many advertisers are making all of these mistakes. You want to make sure you're not doing that. Make sure you stay tuned because there's going to be some great stuff in today's episode. Now, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm so excited to be with you. Like this is one of the, my most favorite parts of the week doing this podcast. I do record it every single week. I don't batch record, you know, months at a time. I'm with you every single week. And the reason I do this podcast is because I truly care. There's so much bad information out there and I truly want you to succeed. So thank you guys so much for being here. And if you guys want to connect with me, by, by the way, like maybe you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can really get good at this and run ads at a pro level and become highly skilled. It's a skill that's one of the most valuable skills in the world. So whether you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching, or maybe you want somebody to actually run your ads for you, somebody you can trust. For either one of those things, you can go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. Let's connect. We'll hop on a short Zoom call and see if it's a good fit and go from there. Also, if you ever have ideas for topics you'd like me to cover on this podcast, I mean, this, is, this podcast is for you. So feel free to always reach out and let me know what you want me to cover as well. I want to jump into the content for this week and really talk about these seven Facebook ad mistakes that cost you money. Now I've done episodes in the past that highlighted mistakes, and this isn't going to cover some of the obvious ones that I talk about a lot. Like you should be having, you know, value first, not just spamming people with sales pitches. I mean, there's overriding, you know, main things you don't want to mess up. I've talked about those before. I'm going to talk about some different ones in this episode. So let's go down the list. We're going to talk about seven mistakes. And again, if you're making even one of these mistakes, they can cost you a lot of money, much less if you're making multiple of these, they're really costing you money, most likely. So number one, huge mistake I see people making, the messaging in their ads are not seamless to where they're sending people. So whether that's a landing page, a sales page, wherever you're sending people from the ad should be a seamless experience. There's so many times I'll see an ad and I'll click to go where the ad wants me to go. And I actually am, am like wondering if I'm in the right place when I get there. When you run an ad, you want your messaging, like the, the hook of the ad to essentially be the hook of the page you send them to. You want it to be the same hook in many circumstances. You also want the general messaging from the ad to also be there on that landing page. And you want the look even to be similar. I would always encourage you guys to make your ads and your landing pages as seamless as possible. Now, this doesn't mean create a landing page for every single ad you run. Obviously, that's not feasible. However, if you really focus on some of the key aspects of that ad and get those into that landing page, you're going to have so much more success in most situations. That's number one. Number two, very common mistake. I work with people on this all the time is people shut their ads off way too soon, way too soon. We've had campaigns for clients that have made millions and even tens of millions of dollars that didn't make money right away. If we would have shut those off, those sales would have never happened. So many people shut ads off too soon. It's literally like starting a 12 hour road trip. And because you're not there in the first 10 minutes, you turn around and go home. Like that's not going to bring you success. Now that's a tough one to fix because it takes sometimes coaching and repetition and skill to identify how long you should let ads run. There's no secret formula and you get good at it by doing it a lot or learning from somebody like me who's done it a lot. Because you also don't want to 
run ads too long if it's not going to work. So there's a fine line. But I will say, in my experience, most people shut them off way too soon, rather than letting them run too long. And many times you might be shutting off a winning ad that could make you a lot of money. So be very careful. That's a very common mistake. Number three, another big mistake that can cost you money when it comes to Facebook ads is bad audience targeting and also not enough audience testing and thinking you can just let Facebook do all the work for you. You can just kind of set it and forget it. Let's just do this big audience, hands off. Facebook will figure it out for me. Guess what? It doesn't work that way in most cases. Now, if you have a huge budget, if you're spending hundreds of thousands a month or more, maybe you can try some campaigns with a really large budget and see what Facebook can do with it. But time and time again, the campaigns and ad sets and ads that we control, where we're focused on the targeting and the messaging, typically do a lot better than what we just let Facebook control. Be careful. It doesn't mean you can't try it out and test it. There's always exceptions. However, a lot of people think, oh, I'll just use this broad audience and just let Facebook find my people. And then if it's not working for them, they just think Facebook ads don't work. No, it's because you didn't do the right targeting. You didn't match your message to your audience segment. You didn't segment audiences. You didn't test a broad versus a segmented. You didn't use micro content. You just kind of threw something out there and you wanted Facebook to just figure it out for you. So you definitely don't want to be setting it and forgetting it in most instances. You really want to control and test different audiences, large and small, different messages to those different audiences. And when you do that, you give yourself a much better chance to succeed. All right, number four. Another big mistake people make is using templates or thinking that templates are like a magic bullet. Now it's crazy how many scammers and fake gurus out there promote templates. Just use this template and you'll make a gajillion dollars. It's all BS. If it were that easy, if a template really made you successful, everybody on earth would be making millions of dollars. They would just all use templates. That's BS. It does not work that way. Now, I'm not saying that templates can't be somewhat helpful. Sometimes they can help you kind of form the framework of an ad or a message. That could be helpful. However, it's not going to do the work for you. You still need to put your information in. You still need to, you know, put your secret sauce in. And most people don't do that. They look like everybody else. And number two, 99% of the time, they don't work. It, it's just not a magic bullet. It's, it's like me saying, hey, here's a template for becoming the ne next Nike. Just do these ads just like they do. And then you'll be the next Nike. Like you, you know that that's not going to work. It's not common sense to think a template's going to work. What works is knowing who your customers are, what they want, how you help them, how you differentiate from your competitors in the marketplace, what your strengths and weaknesses are testing different things. There's all these different things you can do that actually work. Don't focus on templates. And certainly, if you're just set on using them, don't think they're a magic bullet and know that if you're using templates all the time, you are probably costing yourself a lot of money. All right, number five, another big mistake people make, I've talked about this before, but I still need to put it in there, is listening to the fake gurus latest trick or hack that they have. There's not a lot of new things when it comes to selling and marketing. There's certainly new technology that comes to us on a regular basis. But when it comes to actually helping people and serving customers and clients, the psychological way of doing things and the selling and the marketing are still relatively the same as they always have been. Just like, you know, 100 years from now, people will still want to lose weight. They'll still want to look better. They'll still want to have more money. Like these human elements are very, very similar. And it's so funny to see these fake gurus come out with their latest hack for, you know, just do this and you'll get 10 jillion leads by next Wednesday, or, you know, just do this one thing. And it'll take you from nowhere to a million dollars. Like it doesn't work that way. Tune out all that noise. There are so many scammers out there. It's ridiculous. So I would just say, Tune it all out. They're scammers. Be careful. Number six, another huge mistake people make is relying and acting on emotion instead of data. 
this is a big one. And this is one of the toughest ones because you're human and I'm human. There's plenty of times I still make decisions based off of, of uh, emotion. And I have to like catch myself and be like, wait, you know, don't let emotions cloud my judgment or decisions when it comes to ads. I've seen too much data to know that I need to follow the data, not emotions for your ad decisions, whether you should run something or not, whether you should keep it going or not, all those types of things. I want you to promise yourself that from this point forward, you're going to look at the data and follow the data and let the data make those decisions for you. Now, it's tough at first because you have to be skilled at reading and evaluating the data because you might think something's not working and you just shut it off too soon. You know, so you do have to learn as you do this. And we did a great episode last week on data and we'll do more in the future on getting good at evaluating data, but just practice being careful and not making as many decisions based off of emotion. Instead, focus on what is the data telling you and ask more questions, dig deeper when it comes to data. And then last, but certainly not least, number seven, another big mistake people make that can cause them to lose money with Facebook ads is only using or tracking one source of data. So these days, especially after the iOS privacy changes last year, you should really be using and tracking and evaluating multiple sources of data. There's still so many people that actually just use the data from Facebook ads manager and that's it. Well, that's going to be incomplete. There's a lot of times we've discovered where we've gotten sales that Facebook couldn't count because people were using iOS devices. And if we're making decisions based off of incorrect data or incomplete data, it's really hard. So what we do is we use multiple points of data from multiple sources like Facebook and Google analytics and Shopify or WordPress stats or our landing page stats, et cetera, as well as like heat map stats. And we bring them all together into one place and evaluate them there. That way we're not using or trusting one individual piece or source of data. We're bringing them together to tell a story that gives us a much better picture and a huge advantage over what most people do. So I highly recommend doing that. Make sure that you guys make your messaging in your ads and your landing pages seamless. Don't shut off ads too soon. Make sure you're doing proper audience targeting as well as creative testing and don't just rely on the set it and forget it kind of stuff. Make sure you're not just using templates or thinking they're the magic bullet because they're not. Don't listen to the fake guru's latest trick or hack. Don't rely and act on emotion, instead act on data. And then again, lastly, make sure you're using multiple sources of data to make decisions. So my friends, episode 259 is in the books. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna be back every single week to give you lots of value. I appreciate you, I care about you. I want you to succeed. And I will talk to you on the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.